this is Tony at the Red Power Team. Today we're going to go over doing moisture and yield calibrations on your flagship series combine with a Pro 700 monitor. There's multiple ways to do a yield and moisture calibration. Uh, you can utilize the wizard that's in your monitor that will walk you right through it. And it's going to calibrate the high side of your flow sensor and the low side of your flow sensor and get everything calibrated in between for you. Today I'm going to show you how to do an advanced calibration. And so if you pull into the field and you decide you want to either fill that semi truck full and that's going to go off to the elevator to get a weight for you and moisture. How to apply that. Maybe you fill a set of wagons that you take to the elevator or you're dumping on your grain cart. Somehow we need to get a reliable weight and a reliable moisture to do our calibrations against uh, so we have that accurate data. I'm going to show you how to do this calibration with advanced calibration. The first thing we're going to do on our monitor is if you're running variety tracking we need to make sure that you have variety tracking turned off. On my run to screen, I have variety tracking on here. I'm gonna hit the on button, which actually turns it off. So I now have variety tracking turned off. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over to task, hit task and hit new. Think of a task as a load and you're gonna apply your calibrations against those loads on the combine. So I've just created a new task and by default it puts a date and time stamp on there. I'm going to press that task again after I've created a new one and I'm going to edit the name so I can name it something meaningful and then that way I can go back later and apply a calibration against it. So we're going to name this task moisture or moist and I'm going to put a number one behind it. That way I know that this is our moisture calibration number one, that we're gonna apply everything that we're gonna combine against, against this load. So I've got my grain tank cleaned out. I've got my variety tracking turned off. I've got a new task created. I'm set up in the field, and now I can go and combine so we can do a moisture calibration. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to start up our separator and feeder and we're going to go combine this task so we can do this moisture calibration. At this point we're going to take several moisture samples throughout our grain tank and then we're going to get a accurate moisture sample usually from the place that you sell your grain to so you can get the most accurate moisture and then you're going to average several of those samples together and we're going to show you how to punch those into the monitor. We just completed taking our samples in the grain tank and we took them into the elevator, got our moisture readings back on our soybeans, averaged them together and we're now ready to put in our calibration against moisture on the combine. So back to your monitor again, on your Pro 700, where you're gonna press your back button. We're gonna go underneath the calibrations, and across the bottom, we see we have a moisture tab. I'm gonna press moisture across the bottom, and we're gonna utilize the advanced calibration um, I mentioned earlier about Wizard and Fast Cal. We're going to go underneath Advanced Calibrations. Our crop type, we're combining soybeans. I'm going to select our grower farm field that we're currently in. And then now we see here's that moist one that I created, that I combined. And the monitor thinks that the average moisture was 13.2. Our actual 
across all of our averages was 13.1. I'm going to punch that in as a calibration. And at the bottom right corner we have Cal Task. I have to say yes, I want to make this a calibration task. You're going to hit OK to the screen that comes up. And once you've completed that, we now have done a moisture calibration in the monitor. You can then hit exit your advanced calibrations, hit your back button, go back to your run screen, and you can want to make sure your variety tracking is turned back on at this point and continue combining out in the field. We've just completed the moisture calibration. Now we can go ahead and start with our yield calibration. We're going to walk through the exact same process that we did with moisture and that we're going to create another task as well. So when I go back to my monitor again, I want to again make sure variety tracking is turned off. And we're going to create a new task. And this time we're going to do a yield calibration, so we want to record our weight. So I'm going to press my task on my new one that I just created, edit the name of it, delete it all, and this one's going to be a yield calibration. So I'm just going to label it Yield 1. At this point, I've got a task created, just like creating a new load. My grain tank is empty, and so we're able to now go and combine whether you're going to combine an entire semi-load and take that whole semi-load and get a weight back, or maybe you're going to combine you know, enough to put into a weigh cart. And so in this instance today, we're going to just combine enough to fill up the weigh cart, make sure you get enough in that weigh cart that you can get a weight to weigh against. We just finished combining our load to do our first weight test on. Uh, we just got done unloading that onto the grain cart, and now I've got my weights from the cart, as well as another moisture reading all that we can put in. So we're gonna go back to the monitor and I've closed out and I've created a new task already so that closes out that yield task that we were just on. I'm then going to go down and press my back button. We're going to go to calibrations. Under calibrations we're going to go to advanced. But first we want to double check we were just under moisture so we need to make sure we switch over to yield because we're doing yield calibrations. So I'm going to hit Advanced underneath of Yield. I go down and I'm going to select my task in the field that I'm in. And we created that task and we called it Yield 1. So Yield 1, the combine thinks it weighed 12,151 pounds. And the scale read 10,266 pounds. I'm going to punch that in and I'm going to say yes that that was a calibration load. Okay. And now, once we've got that done, I'm gonna exit out of advanced. We're gonna go back to our run screen. We're gonna create a new task, and we're gonna edit this task, and we're gonna call this yield two, so we can create our second load to go calibrate against. So yield two. And we're, we've got our variety tracking off. We're set on yield two. So now we can go and combine our next load. We've just got done combining our second load for our weight calibration. So on our monitor, we need to close out that task of yield two. I'm gonna create another new one that closes that out. We can then hit our back button, go back to our calibrations and yield, change our task to yield two. And the combine this time thinks the weight was 55.72, and our scale weighed 57.12. So 2% error, I'm gonna say yes to our calibration, hit okay. And we've just completed that calibration and now we're pretty close uh, within a couple of percent and I'm pretty happy with that. So you can do one more calibration if you want to, uh, just to make sure that it comes out correctly. We're gonna do a third check, just to double check our uh, error. We were within 2% last time, so let's do a third check just to see how close we are. In order to do that, we wanna again make sure that our task, we create a new one. We're gonna edit the name of that and call it yield three this time. Delete them all.
and we've got variety tracking off. We've got yield three selected. So now we can go out and record our next load. We just got done unloading our third test load for getting a weight calibration. Uh, we just got the weights on those, so let's go ahead and punch those into the monitor. On our screen, you can see we still have our yield threes on our task enabled, so we need to press task, hit new, in order to close out of that task. At this point, we can press our back button. We can go to calibrations, yield tab at the bottom, advanced. We're going to select our yield three. It says that it weighed 59.99. Our actual off of our cart was 6,098. So now we're down to around that 1% error. I'm going to say yes, make this a cow load. And at this point, um, I'm pretty happy with the way this, the yields are coming out. So I'm going to exit out of my yield cow. I'm going to go double check the moisture. We did pull a moisture on this last one. And the monitor thought that the moisture averaged 12.4. And when we tested it, it tested at 12.4. So I'm not going to do any more moisture calibrations. I'm pretty happy there. We need to remember to go back to our run screens. Turn variety tracking back on if you're running variety tracking. And at this point, you have a pretty accurate monitor and you can go combine the rest of your beans. For more information, check us out on the Red Power Team YouTube channel or redpowerteam.com. Thank you.